Cheers. Right? <laughs> At Top 10 Reviews and Perch Labs, we test hundreds of products to find the very best for your needs and wallet. So Rebecca, you tested uh, juicers, mm -hmm. right? How do you go about choosing which juicers you bring in for review? Convenience for someone who's probably going to be doing this every day. I uh, also want to look for affordability if it's within someone's price range, the average person's price range, because juicers can be very expensive. This one was 150 this one was 150 But we wanted to make it more affordable. We want to make sure there's a high juicing yield. We were paying attention to anything that makes it easier. For example, having a pitcher, having a froth separator inside the pitcher, anything that might make it easier. Like with this one, um, it's easier to clean it in some ways because you can actually just leave it open like that mm -hmm. and just leave it on the hinge. That's the only one that does this. What are the three most important things that you look for? One of them would definitely have to be clean up time because it can take a lot of time to clean some of these up. Uh, you want to make sure your juicer comes with a bristle brush so it can actually get the mesh holes um, clean. Do, do some of these require different cuts of vegetables? Um, and so they usually boast that it can hold an apple inside, which is true, but there's usually a fin on the interior inside the chute here right. that keeps the apple from actually going to the bottom. So you want to make sure you cut up the, the produce so it can actually fit down inside there and actually get juiced. And, when, and so when it came to prep and clean up, which one of these was the best? Probably say the Von Chef. It's only got five parts that need to be washed and cleaned, um, whereas this one has nine. Uh, this one has two parts that are not dishwasher safe, so you'd have to hand wash this one. The Von Chef is, is the number one, and then you'd say the Cuisinart, and then, and then the Breville. Yeah. So another thing we looked for was juicer capability, and that deals with how powerful the machine is and also how much juice you actually get per your, your produce. Is it the blades? Is it the, I mean, what in here determines that? Some of it's the design. Some of these have just the way that the plastic is shaped in here. Some of it will just shoot it back here prematurely. Which one gave you the most juice for your vegetable? Um, these two were probably, gave us more yield. The Bon um, Chef and the Breville. Yeah. The Cuisine Art, while it was, it was good and gave us a decent amount of juice, it didn't do quite as well with the soft produce as the Von Chef and the Breville did. The Von Chef definitely had a lot more uh, froth to the cup. Okay. And so you will need to strain that if you don't like that. What would be the, the last thing you'd want to look for in a juicer? Um, how is the design? And what we were talking about there is, is how long is the cord? Another thing is how loud is it going to be? Some of these were extremely loud. And so if it's I, quieter, but anything that's still powerful, that's a plus. Did you take e even like aesthetic into account when you were doing these things? Some of these I think you'd be kind of embarrassed to have in your, on your The Von Chef is ugly. Yeah, it's not the prettiest thing, that's for sure. Which one came out on top as far as design goes? Um, Breville probably, did. although I think the Cuisine Art looks pretty good as well. It doesn't look yeah, clunky yeah. and it, it goes in all together. We've talked about how the Breville and the Von Chef like consistently rank a little bit higher, so how is it that Cuisine Art's number one? There's actually a froth separator piece inside the machine itself, okay. and so that helps reduce the froth. It's very easy to, to take this bowl part off and click it back in so it feels secure. We really like the design of this handle right here so that when you're emptying it to either throw it away or maybe if you're trying to do compost for your garden or something like that. You can easily just pick it up and take it where you want to take it to remove it. Guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Cheers. Right. Mm -mm.